Hi everyone, I want to talk about hair loss. All right. Now, certainly there's genetic components about hair loss, and I can't remember it come from your dad on your mom's side or your mother on your dad's side. I can't remember, but there's a genetic component to it. All right. So I'm not talking about kind of age-related hair loss, but uh, the hair loss that can occur from inflammation very common all right we'll see women uh, commonly come in they notice it more and they've got bacterial overgrowth they've got autonomic dysfunction all this kind of stuff and my hair is coming out just droves just tons of it in the shower and uh, uh, it's very real very real thing and it's primarily uh, triggered by inflammation and uh, there's a lot of work you know pointed at this uh, the trick is lowering the inflammation. Now, when you use the protocol, balance the gut, you know, fish oil, olive oil, use your vagus stimulator, you get that inflammation down. They usually, it, it's around the four or five month mark that they quit talking about it, that it's is not so noticeable. Okay, or they're back to just normal amounts they're, they're accustomed to. And uh, basically, it looks like when you have chronic inflammation, the the hair that's being produced is kind of fragile and will break off. So even though the inflammation may drop within dramatically a few weeks of starting the protocol, you're still going to have this kind of fragile hair and it's going to kind of be breaking off over time. You see the same thing with chemotherapy, actually. You get a couple rounds of chemo, even though you're done, some of this hair keeps breaking off later in time. Uh, and also when one of the things we've noticed is if they've had a lot of hair loss and then you start the protocol, we've had uh, a few women and a few men say, oh, when I was at my salonist or my barber, they said, he said, did you have chemotherapy? The why? You've got a whole bunch of hair growing back. Like they'll have their normal hair length and then this, you know, little forest of shorter hairs are starting to grow. So you can see actually kind of improvement of inflammation you know, of just overall hair growth uh, with that. And so inflammation is a big player in this. Very common thing when you get COVID, huge surge in inflammation, okay? And uh, the gal who cuts my hair, she says, oh, I can tell. Yeah, it's like a big deal. People get COVID, they come in, their hair's falling out for months and months. And that's from the inflammatory surge that's uh, well understood now with COVID causing that. Okay, now of a unique nature, there are uh, so our term for hair loss is called alopecia, and in kids, what's very common is called alopecia areata, and you can get this in in adults too, but very common in kids, it's a patch that goes bald or nearly bald, and um, I for many many years have with kids. Basically, with the little kids, you can just give them some inulin and balance their gut bacteria. And in a month or two, that hair is all grown back. Okay. So it's coming, that source of inflammation very commonly is coming from the gut bacteria. Why it's round in particular, I have no idea. Okay. There are, <clears throat> then, then you can go, there's variations of that to the degree that you have hair loss. And there are some adults with, uh, alopecia totalis, which means all hair over their whole body. And I had one gentleman who had this, um, and he was nearly bald. I mean, he went completely like bald on the scalp, super thin hair, 20 years younger than me. Um, it's kind of blonde, reddish hair, and uh, he didn't have eyebrows, didn't have eyelashes, and being on the protocol, and in about six months, most all of it had grown back, actually. Um, very interesting to watch and see. And it's just all about the inflammation. So if you're having hair loss, and now let's be real, this is from my family. This is genetic. But if you're having this sudden shift and you're having hair loss, you got to start looking for inflammation. you got to start lowering inflammation. My protocol does it really well. It's simple. Give it a try. All right. Hope that's helpful to you all. Take care. Bye.